So we have said that uh, there are three tenses. What has happened past, what is happening present, what will happen future. Each tense is again divided into four. Let us take for example simple, a present tense. In the present tense, we got simple present tense, or present simple tense, or present indefinite tense, all one. Simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, and present perfect continuous tense. Same with the case of past. Simple past or past simple, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. Same the case with the future tense. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. Now let us see each tense in detail. Our first tense is simple present tense. Simple present tense. It is a formation subject plus verb form 1 plus object. What is verb form 1? Let us take one example. Sit, sat, sit, sitting. One more example. See, saw, seen, seen. Another example. Write, wrote, written, writing. Write is V1. Wrote is V2. Written is V3. Writing is V4. V4 is ING form. Always ING will be there with a V1. Let me tell one more example. Read, 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 reading. Throw, throw, thrown, throwing. Now it's clear, I suppose. So, basing on this, subject plus V1 plus object, let us make one example. I play cricket. So, let us go into details. Before that, let me tell you when to use this simple present tense. Our first usage will be, we use simple present tense for habitual or daily actions. For habitual or daily actions. What do you do daily? You don't say I'm brushing my teeth or I will brush my teeth every day, that's wrong. You don't say I will take bath every day, that's wrong. You don't say I will clean my house every day. Instead, you use I brush daily. I take bath daily. Even if you don't tell daily, it is understood from the context. In simple present tense, you use the tense for daily or habitual action. Some more examples. I eat properly, alright. Okay, fine. So habitual actions or daily actions we use in simple present tense. What is the second way of using? Second one, to express scientific facts. What are scientific facts? Scientifically proven facts. For example, sun rises in the east. It's always same. It's proven. Water boils at 100 degrees. It's proven. Glass breaks. It's proven. So all the proven facts or scientific facts will be used in simple present tense or present simple tense. And the third way of using is use them in for future events. For future do you use simple present tense? Yes, you use. For example, the program begins at 5 p.m. Now it's 10 a.m. So future, so an action taking place in future also can be used in simple present tense. You find usually while you watch TV, uh, cricket matches, the match begins or starts at 8 p.m. So it's not 8 p.m. now. So future actions also can be expressed in simple present tense. For example, the match starts at 8 p.m. The program begins at 6 p.m. Clear. These are the three ways we use simple present tense in. So let us see in detail the formation, the way of making question, the way of making affirmative or positive sentences and way of making negative sentences. See, the rule you have to always remember, you have to add yes or yes, add yes or yes, we already know what is verb. So you have to add yes or yes to he she, it, and related nouns, equivalent. For example, you use somebody's name, he. So there also you have to use. Instead of he, you might use Ram. Instead of she, you might use Lakshmi. Instead of it, you might use elephant. So you have to add yes or yes to the 
verb. Examples. It is evident in the examples. See here. Only to he, she, it and related things. She sings a song. According to the formation, we have to use she sing a song because we won. But the rule is we have to add yes or es to the verb when they are in he, she, it or equivalent forms. She sings a song is correct. She sing a song is wrong. And equivalent, see here, they sings a song is wrong. They is plural. They sing a song. For singulars you use, exception is I. Second one, Raju. Raju is single. So Raju like to eat is wrong. Raju likes to eat is correct. We like to eat, correct. We is plural, many. Elephant, goes. See here, you added ES here. Go, ES. Elephant goes to the jungle. Goes. So you add yes or ES. Here is the place where most of the English learners make mistakes. So please keep in mind that you have to use yes or ES in the simple present tense when the subject is either he or she or rich or other equivalent. So let us see some uh, examples from that. So how to form questions. So we have seen, okay, two, there are two ways of forming questions. Two question word, do and does. Two ways of making questions, do and does. So does, yes is there. So does we use for he, she, it. Do we use for I, we, you, they. In the examples it will be evident. See here. So I, we, you, they. You use do. So let us take some examples and make questions. Okay. I study French. I study French. What is the way questioning? Do I study French? Alright. Correct. Do is a question word. Second one. Uh, we study French. Do we study French? Question. Next one. You. You watch TV. Do you watch TV? Correct. One more. They. They swim in the pool. Come on. Yes. Do they swim in the pool? So this is a way of making questions. You have to remember this rule. I, we, you, they. When they come, you have to use do. Right. So next one. When he, she, it. When they come, you have to use does. We already seen adding yes or yes. Same like that. For do, you add yes. Does. So here again there is complication in making sentences. Let us take example. Okay, For he, she, it, you add does. To make a question. Let us take one example. She sings a song. So what is the question for that? Does she sings a song is wrong. Does she sing a song? Yes, there gets cancelled because already you used in the do. You use it does. Does she sing a song? So most of the learners make mistake here. So does she learn English? Does she speak English? Does she cook well? Does he play football? Do you understand? Not please. In the sentence, he plays football. But in the question, does he play football? He watches movies. Yes, yes, is there. Does he watch movie or movies? See the examples. Does he play? So place is not there. Does he play cricket? What is the sentence? He plays cricket. What is the question? Does he play cricket? So place S yes, is not there. One more example. She sings a song is a statement. Question. Does she sing a song? Sings is not there again. Does she sing a song? This is the way of making question. Then what are affirmative sentences or positive sentences? Positive sentences you begin with yes. Do, do you swim in the pool? Yes. If you start with yes, that is affirmative sentence. If you start with no, that is a negative statement. How to use them? This will be helpful in your conversations. Daily conversation, either spoken or written. So let us see. Uh, affirmations and negatives. So let us take one statement. CM proposes a meeting. 
conducts a meeting. That is a statement. That is a sentence. CM proposes a meeting. What is the question? CM, singular. Yes or no? He or she. CM proposes. Does CM propose? I already told you. When does is there already? You do not write yes or yes. Does CM propose a meeting? Is a question. What is affirmative? Yes. CM proposes a meeting. That's it. Yes. CM proposes a meeting. What is negative? No. CM does not does not propose a meeting. Does is there? That's why you don't use yes there. No. CM does not propose a meeting. So let us see some more examples. I'll make a statement. Let us make question affirmative and negative. So my statement is this. She spins the ball. She spins the ball. Question, does she spin the ball? What about affirmative? Yes, she spins the ball. Negative, no, she does not spin the ball. Let us see one more sentence differently. They understand English. They understand English. Question? Yes, you're right. Do they understand English? Affirmative? Yes, they understand English. Negative? No, they do not understand English. So this is all about simple present tense.